guys, I'm Michelle from Weekend Craft. So today I'm teaching how to use your photos in sublimation. I think we're probably all guilty of having a full camera roll on our phones, but what are we doing with them? Today we're gonna go through, find our favorite photos, and we're gonna make some sublimation crafts. I'm gonna go in depth and show you how to make a sublimation puzzle. These make great gifts for holidays, or for birthdays, Mother's Day, Father's Day. Um, so I hope you find something that you love during this session today, and I inspire you to make something with the photos in your phone. Let me walk you through some of the equipment that I'm going to be using today. So this printer is the Epson 2720. Now, this isn't a sublimation printer. This is actually an EcoTank printer that I converted to sublimation myself. It sounds really intimidating, but it's actually pretty easy. I'll put the link below on how I turned this Epson regular at-home inkjet printer into a sublimation printer. So I'm using this for all of the projects today. And then I will be using this A-sub sublimation paper. This is my favorite paper. I always get the 125 grams. I think it's grams. I get the 125G. The heat press I'll be using today is the Cricut Easy Press 3. This is the newest Easy Press that's out. This is 12 inches wide by 10 inches tall. And I'll put a link for this below. You don't have to use this particular model, but you need a heat press that's going to heat up to 400 degrees. So whether it's an easy press or an actual heat press, just make sure it goes up to 400 degrees. For all these projects, you're gonna want some sort of heat resistant mat. This is the easy press mat from Cricut. And for all the projects, we're also going to either need parchment paper or butcher paper. Now, you can get butcher paper from like Cricut or other retailers, but your, your kitchen parchment paper works just as well. So here's some great ideas of what you can make with photo sublimation. We have our puzzle, our mug. I've made some magnets for my refrigerator, and this here is going to go on a keychain. And then one of my favorite items to make are puzzles. They make great gifts or great party favors. So this is a favorite picture I have of my mom from picking flowers. I thought this would be adorable to have as a puzzle. I also love how it is glossy, so it looks a really high quality. Even though we're not using a Cricut today, we're still gonna use Cricut Design Space. So if you don't own a Cricut, you can still use Cricut Design Space. You can download it for free. So we are going to start a new project, which is on the top right here. And then we're gonna go over to our upload button on the left-hand side, and we are going to upload an image. We're going to choose the image from our files, so I am going to go ahead and select a photo here. And then once it uploads, we're going to upload it as a complex image type. We're going to select continue. And we're not removing a background, so we're going to click apply and continue. You'll see them load in here. We're gonna select print then cut and then upload. We're gonna select our image and add it to our canvas. If your image is large, this could take a second. And you'll see this comes in very large. So I'm going to zoom out and then I am going to size this image for my puzzle. I want it a little bit bigger than the actual puzzle that way, I can have a little bit of a bleed on it. So now we're ready to make it. So we select make it at the top. And then you want to select 
mirror. But let me show you, if you forget to select mirror and you click continue, and you realize your mistake over on the left hand side here, you can hit edit and then toggle that mirror on. Now we're going to send it to our printer and then you wanna select the correct printer. I'm using the Epson 2720 and then select use system dialog. Turn that toggle on and click print. Now, this is a little quirk in Cricut Design Space, but the print dialog actually goes behind your window. So just make sure that you can find that. And we're gonna do best quality, and I'm gonna select photo paper. And then we are ready to print it. make our puzzle today we're only going to need a few things so we have our sublimation puzzle blank here we have heat resistant tape and then we have our photo printed on sublimation paper so for sublimation paper I like to use the a sub sublimation paper I like to use the 125 and I have that linked below along with the puzzle and then you can either use parchment paper or butcher paper. And today we're gonna to be using parchment paper. So for my heat press, I am using the new Easy Press 3. And so we are gonna set the temperature for 400 degrees. And we are going to set it for 60 seconds. And we are going to let this heat up as we prepare a puzzle. So to sublimate this, we're going to add our image to the puzzle. Our, ear our image is mirrored. So we wanna put it face down on the puzzle. And the puzzle has like a glossy side. That's the side we're gonna sublimate to. But to get this positioned how I want to. I'm keeping the backer on this. Do it like this for now. I'm gonna heat press it with the backer for stability, but you can see the way I printed this, it has some extra. I did this because I wanted it to go edge to edge. back on okay so I have my heat resistant tape and I am just going to start taping this into place we don't want it to move while we're heating because then you'll get Kind of a ghosting. So you don't need too much tape, just putting it one on each corner. And then I'm going to flip this over, remove this, and we're going to put a piece of parchment paper on top. And then we are ready for the heat press. Okay, so now we're putting this on top. Press the green arrow or green play button. And I'm putting down some probably medium pressure on to this. And we're gonna let this go for 60 seconds. That, move it over a little bit. And we are ready to heat press. So we're gonna do 400 degrees for 60 seconds, 
press the play button, and then I'm pushing down with medium pressure. You wanna make sure that you don't move your easy press and that your easy press is on top of your whole puzzle. So we're gonna do this for 60 seconds. I'm doing medium pressure. I'm not like really putting my weight down on it, but enough to just give it a little bit. Okay, we're taking that off. And I am going to let this cool a little bit. This is really, really hot. So it's still a little bit hot. That's okay, we're gonna turn this over. You'll see that extra bleed that I did. This is why we put the parchment paper down. It actually bled onto the parchment paper which is completely fine. So the tape's taking a little bit of the cardboard backer off, but that's okay. You're giving this as a gift. If you have a Cricut, you can totally um, cut a new piece of backing if you wanted it in pristine condition. Let's see. <gasps> Look at that. We have a beautiful puzzle. I love it. I love the gloss finished. It looks very professional. This is going to be a little difficult to do too because the sky and the flowers. This is such a cute gift. This was so much fun. I really enjoyed crafting with you today. Now, I hope you learned something and you gathered some inspiration to go home and well, you're probably already at home, <laughs> but to use the knowledge you've learned today to make some of your own photo sublimation crafts. These make great gifts, and even if you just wanna make something for yourself. If you've liked crafting with me, I run a craft membership. So it's a monthly membership where we do a craft night live every month, we have an exclusive Facebook group where you have direct access to ask me questions. And then I also release eight to 10 SVG files, which are cut files you can use with your Cricut or Silhouette. And I encourage you guys to go over on Instagram or Facebook or TikTok, find me. I am Weekend Craft. Over there, I'm making everything from crafts to cricket projects to recipes and to diy and home inspiration so i'd love to see you over on some of my social media channels i've had a great time and i can't wait to see what you guys have made feel free to send me a message and show me your creations